am Dr. Swarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. What is a hormonal imbalance and what hormones are very important for fertility? This is the topic for today. A hormonal imbalance occurs when your body has too little or too much of one or more hormones. Hormones are chemical messengers that manage many of our body's functions by carrying signals via blood to skin, organs, muscles and other tissues. Hormones frequently affect one another. So an imbalance of one hormone can create like a domino effect on others. For example, LH production, luteinizing hormone production can lead to ovulation, but it is stimulated by a surge in estrogen hormone. Let's try to understand what hormones have an impact on fertility. Many hormones have an influence over each other, but there are a few key fertility hormones in females that play a very important role for fertility. Let's look at them. FSH is created in the brain by the pituitary gland and is central to the menstrual cycle and female fertility. So your ovaries contain follicles, which are little fluid filled sacs that hold immature eggs. Now when LH along with FSH is released, FSH triggers the growth of ovarian follicles before ovulation. FSH also helps increase the production of estradiol. It is a kind of an estrogen which is very critical to menstrual cycle and fertility. Next, we look at anti-mullerian hormone. AMH is created by the ovarian follicles and its key role is to help sustain the immature eggs. So, a measurement of AMH levels is one of the key uh, factors that uh, fertility specialists employ to estimate the number of eggs a woman has left. Low AMH levels could mean that the woman has few eggs remaining. On the other hand, AMH levels that are very high can give us signals that the woman has polycystic ovarian syndrome. Luteinizing hormone. Now, this hormone helps to regulate the menstrual cycle. It is also generated and secreted by the brain's pituitary gland and it is very crucial to ovarian function. It stimulates the release of an egg from the ovaries, which is called as ovulation. And in women, an imbalance of LH could cause a number of issues, including menstrual problems and thereby leading to infertility. Next comes estradiol or a form of estrogen. Estradiol is a kind of estrogen. Like I said, it is generated by the ovaries, which helps in facilitating healthy ovulation. Uh, for the egg to release, estradiol is very important. It's important for conception and pregnancy also. Throughout your menstrual cycle, your estrogen levels naturally increase, helping the development of an egg. And then it also helps in the release of the egg from the ovaries, where it can go into the fallopian tubes and then be fertilized by sperms. Estrogen also facilitates pregnancy by thickening the womb lining, enabling the fertilized egg to implant and mature. If estrogen levels are too low, a woman may experience irregular periods or even lack of ovulation altogether. But if estrogen levels are too high, the window for egg fertilization may be very short. Progesterone is also very crucial to a woman's menstrual cycle and ability to carry a baby to term. When the ovaries release an egg, the corpus luteum, now what is the corpus luteum? The follicle that has released the egg becomes something called as corpus luteum, which produces progesterone. The progesterone develops the endometrium and readies the uterus for a possible implantation if a fertilized egg reaches there. If no fertilization occurs and an embryo is not inside the uterus, the corpus luteum will disintegrate and progesterone levels will decrease naturally. But if pregnancy occurs, then progesterone levels will keep increasing. The placenta will develop and become the primary source of progesterone throughout pregnancy, which is very critical for it to be supported to term. Progesterone levels that are very low can lead to irregular periods and problems getting pregnant as well as elevated levels of miscarriage also. But if progesterone levels are high, then the woman may not ovulate also. Then comes thyroid hormones. There are many hormones created by the thyroid gland, which is at the base of the neck. Hormones like T3, T4 help in regulate function of the reproductive system, including the uterus and the ovaries. Prolactin is also a very important hormone we should be talking about. Most famous for its role in creation of breast milk, prolactin is also very critical to fertility. Abnormal levels of prolactin may lead to menstrual cycle irregularity and problems with ovulation. So these are very critical hormones that are analyzed, assessed along with your medical examination, your ultrasonography and then the problem is estimated or identified and treatment options are given after that. If you wish to know more about this, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.